Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a famous mobile game Subway Surfers in Scratch. So here is something what we're gonna make something similar to it. So you avoid these obstacles but you have to collect the coins. So if you hit an obstacle you will die and you'll be met with this lobby again. So you need to collect as much coins as you can. You can see your score, high score and without any more waiting let's just start with the video all right guys let's start with the easiest part and it's creating the sprites so actually how uh, the characters will look so how will the obstacles coins and the player look so you don't need any code for that so we're gonna just start with that so we have something to work with all right so you're gonna create a new sprite, click here paint and we have created this sprite one I will name it player and here in the costume I'll name it ball cause it reminds me I mean it's a ball uh, so yeah let's create a ball by selecting this circle here you can create uh, these uh, round obstacles but if you click shift with it it's gonna be a perfect circle so as you see here its size is 90 by 90 uh, or I have it a bit smaller cool and the outline is gonna be 6 now we go here to this paint thing and just paint this all right now we're gonna put this into the center right here one two hold shift and up arrow one two uh okay this looks kind of weird so let's make uh, this a little bit bigger Alright, it's better now. Uh, I think this one is a bit smaller. Nice. We have the player costume. Now we're gonna create the obstacles. So this will be one sprite for both coin and the wall. So we can create the coin first. Coin, that's what the costume's name is gonna be. And we're gonna create a small coin. Let's select the yellow color here. 15, alright. And outline is gonna be 4. Create a circle. Um, I think this is perfect. 25 by 25. You can see up here. what size it is and let's select text and type C in it so uh, black color C perfect now we have the coin and we also need the wall that's gonna be the easiest one Is gonna be some red orange something between those two mm, like this so now select this square but don't call, hold shift we need a rectangle 100 by 15 okay that's good and of course put all of these into the center if you have not put them so I think all mine are in the center, yes. Alright, now it's time to make this background. So I'll uh, just make this uh, square. So because we're not uh, moving like from one line uh, of road instantly to another one, we don't even need those lines. It just takes too much time to create them and make those parts uh, the same. Uh, width so I just made the wall a bit uh, longer actually 
fold out so it stays in the center and make it 140 by 50. All right. This is way better now, and let's start with the code. So, this is the classic one when the green flag is clicked, so that means we're starting the project. When the green flag is clicked, we're going to set player's position, or starter position. X position is left to right, negative is left, right is uh, positive, and zero is center. The same is for Y position, it's up and down, up is positive, Y negative, and the center is zero. So, we're gonna select here X zero. So, well, as you see, when you hit the green flag, it looks like this, and Y negative 100. Go down from the center, negative 80 maybe. Perfect. So now we want to make it able to move. What we're gonna do is put this forever loop here. So that's something that's gonna that's gonna like uh, be repeating forever. And we're gonna check if a key is pressed. Then we're gonna do something that we put here inside this if block. So, if we press left arrow, or uh, key A, then we are going to change the X position by negative negative 5 so that's to the left otherwise if we press right arrow or d here it is we're going to change it by positive 5 so let's test this out as you see we can move our player so that's really good if we try uh, doing left and right arrow at the same time it won't move so you can click at the same time two keys so doesn't matter actually and now let's make the obstacles move all right so we aren't really gonna move this original sprite we're gonna move it clone so if you have watched my videos about scratch before you probably know about clones because uh, we use them in a lot of uh, them so when the green flag is clicked, we're gonna hide this one, right? The original one. And we're gonna put it to the top of the screen. So go to... So, so we, we don't actually need this. I mean, I'm gonna put it just here. Forever. We're gonna wait a random amount of time. No, actually, uh, I'm gonna... Uh, it's gonna spawn every... Every, for example... Three seconds, a new obstacles are gonna spawn. We're gonna go to random position, so go to X random position, but Y is gonna be at the top of the screen, which is 180. But X is going to be pick random, so select here pick random, and between these two numbers, negative 240. No, we actually. Um, we actually need these three tracks to like see we, in each one is it gonna go so we're gonna select minus one to one now you're gonna see what we're gonna do all right so this might look dumb because it's only difference in a pixel very for spawn but we're gonna multiply that by 145 so you're gonna see that it works so, but we are not gonna uh, gonna show this real sprite. We're gonna create clone, create a clone of it, uh, and we are gonna put this when I start as a clone. So this basically uh, like uh, is the script for that clone because we don't don't uh, only have that one wall or point that's gonna spawn, but we also need to make the the costume that will spawn random. So sometimes wall, sometimes coin, fifty fifty chance. Um, 
one to two so the first part is coin and the second one is wall uh, all right and now we can do this uh, script for the clone we're gonna show the clone actually and we're gonna uh, change its uh, set its uh, like uh, how fast it changes its y so we're gonna change its y by negative 10 for example negative 8 maybe actually that's gonna be in a forever loop now if it's touching so if touching the if it's touching the player or no uh, this one is uh, if it's touching the player and the costume is so costume number is one that's the coin and see uh, yeah one one uh, then we're gonna create a variable called coins coins all right the gre when green flag starts we're gonna set coins to zero but here we're gonna change coins by one but now if it's pressed and costume number is two that means the player uh, that means the player is touching the wall which will instantly stop the project here we're also gonna delete the cone i forgot to do that uh we're actually gonna do stop all right here but now if we're touching the edge so if it hits like the bottom part of here we're just gonna delete the clone edge delete this clone so it's gonna disappear perfect all right uh, uh, I want to make this variable visible so we can see how many coins have we collected. All right, and this should work perfectly now. Uh, except that I forgot to wait uh, before it spawns in our clone. So we're gonna wait a random amount 1.5 to 3 seconds. 1.5 to 3.0. All right. All right, guys. This is now not gonna spawn it every single second. Uh, why don't we see the coin or the wall? Here you go. I think there is some lag, maybe. Here goes another one. Okay, it's spawning too slowly still. Another one. Okay, we need a coin to spawn. No coins are spawning. Okay, how no coins spawn, coin spawn, coin spawning? Uh, so I just if we die when we hit the wall, uh, but for some reason I don't see any coin spawning. I don't know if it's bad luck or something. All right, so let's uh, look to this. Alright, so maybe we can make this thing a little bit different. So if random from 1 to 2 equals 1. Let's actually discover the problem. Uh, it spawns the coins too high. So here just accept of 180, we put 170. That fixes the problem. And we can switch back to our old logic. 1, 2. Two, and it should also spawn more often now. I just see coin spawn. I didn't manage to collect this one. Uh, it still doesn't spawn this stuff often enough, in my opinion. So I'm gonna make it spawn stuff faster. All right, so we die to the wall, and we can collect the coins. And the coin here switches the coin counter. It can also hit the bottom there. Alright, so that works perfectly, but the only last thing we want to add is the score. So every uh, every 0 
5 seconds is going to change by 0 0.1. I don't really know. So it takes 5 seconds for it to change by 1. No, actually, I have 0 0.2, something like that. And we're going to change it by 0 0.1. So this is going to be simple. Score. All right, we're just going to show the score. And high score. Nice. So here we're going to put another side here set high score to zero while we are testing we'll do that and now when the green flag is clicked we're doing this in the player sprite when the green flag is clicked we're gonna set score to zero perfect forever wait 0 0.3 seconds and change score by 1 0 0.25 maybe so we cannot put two decimals so we'll have to do 1 divided by 4 all right so then we're going to change the score by 1 and if score is higher than high score we're gonna set high score to score, so that's a really simple logic. Set high score to score. All right, and well, let's test this out. Right here. All right, so this is uh, not one. I want to do it zero point one. Zero point one. Set high score to zero. Okay. Maybe we need a bit faster. One divided by five. No, six. All right, and now we broke our record, so it's for this one. We die, and it stops. Nice. And here, the high score is still 4.1. Alright guys, that was all of this video, I really hope you enjoyed, if you did, make sure to like the video, it helps me a lot, and uh, if you want to get notification when a new video releases, you can subscribe, thank you so much for 150 subscribers, it uh, helps me a lot, uh, so yeah, thank you guys a lot for watching, and see you in the next video.